Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is the first part of our Cloud Firestore app and in this app we will perform all the CRUD operations and uh, I already showed you the demo app in the previous video. Uh, if you haven't watched that video, link in the i button you can check out and also I have discussed about why to use Cloud Firestore over real-time database in that video. So go and check out that video. And also I will provide source code uh, of this application in the description box. So if you have some error, you can always check with that. So at the first, uh, we'll connect our app to the Firebase and we'll add Cloud Firestore dependency in our application. So I'll click on tools and Firebase. And now I'll click on Firestore. Connect to Firebase. And I, was, I have already created this project, so I will select this. So click on connect. And it is connected. And also I will just open Firebase uh, Google.com and click on go to console. Till then we'll add a uh, cloud firestore. So click on this and accept changes. So it will add dependency. So it has been added here. So now we'll click on this cloud firestore and then create database and start in test mode click on next enable so it has been created now okay so first of all we'll design our application search here for edit text and the plain text So I will constraint it horizontal in parent and to the top. Uh, let's put it as 45 margin from the top. And the width will be match constraints. And we'll change the ID to the edit title. And we'll also change this text and we'll provide here hint. This will be enter title. And then I will search for again our uh, edit text. So edit text and I will select this plain text over here. Constraint it and I will provide you a hint as enter description. And we'll change its width also to match constraints and delete this text. And also the ID will be edit desk. Click on refractor. Okay. So now we'll just constrain this one to the first edit text. And I will change height to 250 dp. Maybe 280. Okay. So now we'll, so I will add here gravity. So gravity and this will be start. And also the input type will be text multi-line because description can have multiple lines. So text multi-line and we'll also provide here margin horizontal of let's say 15 dp and also the padding so padding of 10 dp and to this also padding of 10 dp and the margin horizontal will be 15 dp then i will drag two buttons so button one and the button two so 
first I will just constrain it and I will change this text to save and match constraints so this will be save button so this will be show all button we'll implement this uh, in the next video when we'll retrieve the data it will be match constraints and the text will be show all also i will just uh, add some margin from horizontal so margin horizontal will be 20 dp and to this also so margin horizontal of 20 dp and also i will change the background color of this so background tint and just provide till 200 and also i will change the text color to the black so text color hash 000 okay cool so i will just put it down and i will constrain this to the second button okay so cool we have designed our application now we'll just collect all the ids of our widget so private edit text and we have the title so m title and the m disk and the, the buttons so private buttons m save button and m show button so now we'll just collect all the ids so m title so we have finded all the ids uh, now i will just create instance of firebase firestore and i will name it as a db and in on create method we'll write db equals to firebase firestore dot get instance and i will put semicolon here so now we have to add on click listener to our save button so m save button set on click listener new on click listener so now we'll collect all the edit text uh, text so for that we'll create one string for title so i'll name it as a title and this will be m title dot get text dot to string and then string let's name it as this disk and this will be m disk get text dot to string and now i will create one string for id so string id equals to uuid dot random uuid dot to string and we'll call one method here we'll be creating it in a minute so this will be saved to firestore and we'll pass here this id test oh sorry title and the description so disk and then i'll put semicolon here so we'll create that method over here so private void save to firestore and this will take three parameters string id string title and string disk so over here we'll first check uh, if title and disk is not empty so not equals title is empty and not equals disk empty and we'll just add else part to this so else will be like one toast i will show here empty fields not allowed so over here we will create one hash map so hash map will pass two parameters string and another will be object 
and let's name it as a map equals to new hash map and then map dot put this will be id and we'll pass here id and then map dot put this will be title and the title map dot put this will be desk and the disk so now we'll use our db instance of firestore so db dot collection and here you can write anything or uh, the document name so for now i will just write here documents and the dot and uh, the documents i will pass here id dot set and here we will pass our map so it will save the data in our document collection and inside that we will have the document as id and inside that we will have these values we will add on complete listener to it so add on complete listener new on complete listener and here we will check if uh, the task is successful then we will display one toast data saved and then we'll just add on failure listener so add on failure listener new on failure listener and here we'll display one toast that will be failed and then put a semicolon here okay so everything is fine now we'll click on the run button and check our application is working or not so it has been installed uh, in our cloud fast you can see there is nothing uh, now we'll add some data here so tom cruz and description about him his he is actor okay so now i will click on save button so you can see the toast data saved uh, but uh, we have to reload this for the first time uh, cloud faster is real time but uh, for the first time i don't know why we have to reload it okay so you can see document uh, documents collection has been created and inside that we have id as a document and inside that we have the values <coughs> that we have set our uh, tom cruise and he is actor and the id okay so let me add uh, some more data so virat kohli and he is creator you can see now uh, it will happen in the real time so now I'll click on save button. Okay, so it has been updated here. He is creator and Virat Kohli. So this is working fine. Uh, in the next video, we'll see how we can retrieve that, uh, retrieve all the data and we'll display in the recycler view. So do subscribe and save this playlist. That's it. See you in the next one.